जय श्री कृष्णा फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माई हेल्थ एंड टेस्ट टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ वेरी यमी रेसिपी विच आई एम कॉलिंग गोभी पसंदा यू कैन सर्व इट विद एनी काइंड ऑफ इंडियन ब्रेड्स बिकॉज इट टेस्ट वेरी वेल विद ऑल इंडियन ब्रेड्स इवन विद अ नॉर्मल चपाती सो लेट सी हाउ इट इज बिंग मेड बट बिफोर दैट प्लीज डू नॉट फोकेट टू सब्सक्राइब टू माई चैनल एंड मेक श्योर यू क्लिक द बेल आइकन टू रिसीव नोटिफिकेशन ऑफ ऑल द अपकमिंग यमी रेसिपीज सो लेट्स बिगिन विद द इनग्रीडियंट्स For making this, we need one big cauliflower, cut it, cut into florets. Uh, I have cut into medium-sized florets because uh, after frying they'll shrink. Then we need three to four medium-sized potatoes, which I have cut into wedges shape. If you want, you can cut normally also. Two medium-sized tomatoes, which I have pureed. Fresh green coriander leaves, half a cup. Sliced or slit green chilies, three to four. and some sliced ginger oil for frying and we'll need some spices i've also mentioned all these ingredients in the description box below so we'll begin with frying the cauliflower florets so we'll begin with frying the cauliflower cauliflower which is also known as phool gobi once it is golden brown we'll strain all these florets on a kitchen towel or a tissue paper to whatever you are using once the cauliflower is done we'll now fry the potatoes we'll fry them until they are also golden brown and once they are done we'll strain them now in another kadhai we'll add oil asafoetida cumin seeds ginger and green chilies After adding all this, we'll just stir it for a while and add to this tomato puree and salt. I'm using rock salt here, which is also known as sinda namak, but you can use whatever salt you use in your daily life. Mix the tomato puree well and just cover it, cook it for some three to four minutes or until the oil starts separating of the tomato puree. Now to this we'll add all our dry spices that is turmeric, red chilli powder, garam masala powder and coriander powder and we'll mix it all well. Once all the mixing is done, we'll put into this our fried cauliflower and fried potatoes. After putting these vegetables into this gravy, we'll just give it a good mix. Mix it properly such that all the vegetables are well coated with the gravy friends just make sure not to add too much of tomatoes otherwise your curry will turn out to be very watery which might not really taste very good and i'll just cover and cook it for some 3 to 4 minutes and now it's ready to be served i'll just garnish it with some fresh green coriander and it's ready to be served with the choice of your indian bread I hope you like the video. Thanks for watching. Eat healthy, stay happy. Bye bye.